एक आईज मेरा नाम डॉक्टर शेरुन है और आप सबका स्वागत है हमारे इस चैनल में जिसका नाम है नीट बडी वे वी प्रोवाइड यू विद डेली बायोलॉजी एम सी क्यूज फ्रॉम वन ऑफ द चैप्टर्स ऑफ क्लास इलेवंथ और क्लास ट्वेल्थ एन सी बायोलॉजी एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर फ्रॉम विच वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू विद एम सी क्यूज टूडे इज दे ऑन योर स्क्रीन सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग मच टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद एम सी फॉर टूडे वॉट डज फोटो सिंथेट रेफर्स टू गाइज रिमेम्बर फोटो सिंथेट रेफर टू ऑप्शन ए प्रोसेस बाय विच ग्रीन प्लांट सिंथेसाइज फूड ऑप्शन बी फूड सिंथेसाइज बाय लीव्स ऑप्शन सी रॉ मटीरियल यूटिलाइज बाय प्लांट्स इन फोटो सिंथेसिस और ऑप्शन डी बाय प्रोडक्ट ऑफ फोटो सिंथेसिस वॉट डज फोटो सिंथेट रेफर टू द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी फूड सिंथेसाइज बाय लीव इज कॉल एज फोटो सिंथेट क्वेश्चन टू टाइप ऑफ फ्लो अकरिंग इन जाइलम इज ऑप्शन ए यूनिडायरेक्शनल ऑप्शन बी मल्टी डायरेक्शनल ऑप्शन सी बाय डायरेक्शनल ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दीज टाइप ऑफ फ्लो अकरिंग इन जाइलम इज द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए यूनिडायरेक्शनल मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम द फ्लो इन जाइलम इज यूनिडायरेक्शनल दैट इज फ्रॉम द रूट वे द वॉटर इज एब्सॉर्ब two various leaves stems and other parts of the body where water is utilized question 3 which of the following is incorrect statement four statement is given you have to identify which one of these is incorrect option a smaller substances diffuse at faster rate option b diffusion across a membrane differ, uh, depends on lipid solubility of the substance option c substances that have hydrophilic muoty pass easily through the membrane or option d substances soluble in lipid diffuse faster which of the following statements is incorrect the correct answer is option c that is the substances that have hydrophilic muoty pass easily through the membrane is incorrect in fact these take a longer time to pass through the membrane however substances which are lipid soluble pass through the membrane easily what does hydrophilic means hydro means water philic means love so these substances have love for water these substances find it difficult to pass through a lipid membrane so option c is the correct answer question 4 which of the following is correct about different transport mechanisms option a simple diffusion is highly selective option b facilitated diffusion is an example of uphill transport option c facilitated diffusion is energy dependent process or option d facilitated diffusion has the tendency to saturate which of the following statement about different mechanisms is correct you have to identify which statement is correct the correct answer is statement d is correct facilitated diffusion is has the tendency to saturate as it is transported by various channels right so these channels are proteins which have tendency to saturate however facilitated diffusion is not an energy dependent process remember both simple diffusion as well as facilitated diffusion are passive process they do not require energy only active diffusion requires energy plus the second option is also incorrect facilitated diffusion is an example of uphill transport that's wrong uphill means from low concentration to high concentration that's incorrect even facilitated diffusion though facilitated by various proteins require a concentration gradient and option a is obviously incorrect as simple diffusion is a simple process of diffusion there is no selectivity uniport antiport symport are types of option a simple diffusion option b facilitated diffusion option c active transport or option d none of above uniport antiport symport are types of the correct answer is option b that is facilitated diffusion question 6 which of the following is correct solute potential is either positive or negative option b state at atmospheric pressure water potential equals solute potential statement c 
यूनिट ऑफ वॉटर पोटेंशियल एज पी और स्टेटमेंट डी वॉटर पोटेंशियल इज अफेक्टेड ओनली बाई सॉल्यूट पोटेंशियल विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट द करेक्ट आंसर इज स्टेटमेंट बी इज करेक्ट दैट इज एट एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर वॉटर पोटेंशियल इक्वल्स सॉल्यूट पोटेंशियल ऑस्मोसिस इज ऑप्शन ए पैसिव प्रोसेस ऑप्शन बी एक्टिव प्रोसेस ऑप्शन सी सेलेक्टिव प्रोसेस और ऑप्शन डी हाईली सेलेक्टिव प्रोसेस ऑस्मोसिस इज द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए इट इज अ पैसिव प्रोसेस देर इज नो एनर्जी यूज इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑस्मोसिस क्वेश्चन एट प्लाज्मोलिसिस अकर्स इन ऑप्शन ए आइसोटोनिक सोल्यूशन ऑप्शन बी हाइपोटोनिक सोल्यूशन ऑप्शन सी हाइपरटोनिक सोल्यूशन और ऑप्शन डी आइसोबारिक सोल्यूशन प्लाज्मोलिसिस अकर्स इन द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी दैट इज हाइपरटोनिक सोल्यूशन इन हाइपरटोनिक सोल्यूशन द वॉटर मूव आउट ऑफ द सेल एंड द सेल प्लांट सेल मूव अवे फ्रॉम द cell wall and this is known as plasmolysis question 9 plant cell is said to be flaccid when placed in option a isotonic solution option b hypotonic solution option c hypertonic solution or option d none of the above plant cell is said to be flaccid when placed in the correct answer is isotonic solution in a flaccid cell as the amount of water moving out and moving is in is equal so when a plant cell is placed in isotonic solution it is said to be flaccid when a plant cell is placed in hypotonic solution which of the following events will occur hypotonic solution option a cells become turgid option b cells become flaccid option c cells remain as it is or option d plasmolysis occurs when a cell is placed in hypotonic solution when a plant cell is placed in the correct answer is the cell becomes turgid so three things can happen if the cell is placed in hypertonic solution plasmolysis occurs if it is placed in isotonic solution then cells become flaccid if it is placed in hypotonic solution then the cells become turgid question number 11 root pressure develops due to increase in transpiration active absorption low osmotic potential in soil and passive absorption root pressure develops due to the correct answer is option b active absorption question number 12 carbohydrates are commonly found as starch in plant storage organs which of the following five properties of starch from a to e makes it useful as a storage material easily translocated chemically non reactive easily digested by animals osmotically inactive synthesized during photosynthesis which of these five properties make carbohydrate useful as a storage material the useful properties are both a and e both b and c both b and d or a c and e which of the properties of the starch make it a useful storage material the correct answer is option 3 that is both b and d it is chemically non reactive and osmotically inactive question number 13 transport of food material in higher plants takes place through transfusion tissues tracheids sieve elements companion cells transport of food material in higher plants takes place through the correct answer is option c sieve elements question number 14 what does the diagram represent diagram is given what does it represent hydroponic plant production hybridization plant production nutrient solution culture hydrolytic plant production the correct answer is option a hydroponic plant production question number 15 the rupture and fractionation do not usually occur in the water column in vessels and tracheids during the ascent of sap because of transpiration pull 
lignified thick walls, cohesion and adhesion, or weak gravitational pull. Rupture and fractionation do not occur in the water column in vessels and trachees because of. The correct answer is option C, cohesion and adhesion. Question number one. Stomata opens during day because the guard cells have option A, outer thin wall, option B, kidney shaped, option C, chlorophyll or option D, large nuclei. Which of the following four properties of guard cells is responsible for opening of stomata during the daytime? The correct answer is option A, the outer thin wall. Question number two. Dry seeds when placed in water swells up due to option A, imbibition, option B, absorption, option C, diffusion or option D, adsorption. Dry seeds placed in water swells up due to which of the following four processes? The correct answer is option A, imbibition. Question number three. Rate of transpiration is measured by option A, photometer, option B, porometer, option C, potometer or option D, none of these. Which of the following devices is used for measuring the rate of transmission? The correct answer is option B, porometer. Question number four. Hydrothodes are site for, hydrothodes are site for, option A, transpiration, option B, respiration, option C, gutation or option D, evaporation. The correct answer is option C, Gutation. Question number five. What happens when a plant cell is kept in concentrated solution of salt? What happens when a plant cell is kept in concentrated solution of salt? Option A, plasmolysis. Option B, turgid. Option C, lysis. Or option D, deplasmolysis. The correct answer is option A, plasmolysis. And what does the concentrated salt solution means? It refers to hypertonic solution. When a cell plant cell is kept in hypertonic solution, it undergoes plasmolysis. Question number six. Humus in soil is necessary for plant growth because it, option A, increases aeration and water absorption capacity of soil, option B, makes soil compact, Option C, makes soil sterile or option D, decreases the rate of percolation. Which of the following is responsible for improved plant growth because of humus in soil? The correct answer is option A, it increases the aeration and water absorption capacity of the soil. Question number seven. A professor kept some moist seed in an airtight jar and started his lecture. The jar is airtight, remember. At the end of the experiment, an explosion occurred in the jar. What did the professor want to explain? Option A, osmosis. Option B, diffusion. Option C, anaerobic respiration. Option D, imbibition. The correct answer is option D, imbibition. Question number eight. Cell becomes flaccid in option A, isotonic solution, option B, hypotonic solution, option C, hypertonic solution or option D, none of these. Cell becomes flaccid in. The correct answer is option A, that is an isotonic solution. Question number nine. Which of the following is a type of facilitated diffusion? Option A, uniport, option B, antiport, option C. Symport or option B, all of these. Type of facilitated diffusion. The correct answer is option D, all of these. Uniport, antiport, symport, all three are types of facilitated diffusion. Question number 10. Girdling is an experiment used to demonstrate option A, loss of water by gutation, option B, transport of food via phloem, option C, Water transport via xylem or option D, transpiration pull theory. Girdling is an experiment used to demonstrate which of the following. The correct answer is option B, food transport via phloem. Question number 11. Theory that explains translocation in phloem. 
theory that explains translocation in phloem is option A. Pressure flow hypothesis option B. Transpiration pull theory option C. Root pressure theory or option D. None of these. Which theory best explains transport of food in phloem? The correct answer is option A. Pressure flow hypothesis. Question number 12. What indicator is used to study water loss from a leaf? Option A, cobalt chloride. Option B, potassium permanganate. Option C, ferrous sulfate. Or option D, cobalt sulfate. What indicator is used to study water loss from a leaf? The correct answer is option A, cobalt chloride. Cobalt chloride, as soon as it absorbs water, it changes its color. So it is used as an indicator to study water loss from leaf. Question number 13. Most minerals are absorbed by option A, simple diffusion, option B, active absorption, option C, facilitated absorption or option D, uniport absorption. Most minerals are absorbed by. The correct answer is option B, that is active absorption. Question number 14. Endodermis allows transport of mineral ions only in one direction because of presence of Option A. Casparian strip Option B. Suberin Option C. Lignin Option D. Chitin Endodermis allows transport of mineral ions only in one direction because of presence of The correct answer is Option B. Suberin Endodermis contains suberin because of which the active transport of ions can occur only in one direction Question number 15. Which of the following factors affect the rate of transpiration? Which of the following factor has an effect on rate of transpiration? Option A. Temperature. Option B. Humidity. Option C. Light. Option D. All of these. The correct answer is option D. That is all of these have an effect on rate of transpiration. So those are the MCQs for today. I hope you found this video helpful and for tomorrow's MCQ session, we are going to take up the next chapter following the chapter that we took up today. So that would be all for today. I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Till then, all the best and keep working hard to like and share this video if you find it helpful. And if you're new out there, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you guys for watching.